Imagine detecting hydrogen clouds millions of light years away, right from your own backyard. Today we're building a homemade radio telescope to do just that. That's right, using a few basic electronics, a satellite dish, a Raspberry Pi, and an analog to digital converter, you'll be able to tune into the hydrogen frequency in our galaxy and pick up signals from deep space. So, let's break down exactly what you'll need. First, the one meter satellite dish. This dish acts as the ear of your telescope, gathering radio waves from space. If you have an old TV dish lying around, that's perfect. Otherwise, they're easy to find online. Next, we have the Raspberry Pi, the brain of the operation. This mini computer will process all the signals captured by the dish. Make sure it has Wi-Fi or a way to connect to your computer to view the data. Then we need an analog to digital converter, or ADC. This little gadget transforms the raw radio signals from the dish into a digital format that your Raspberry Pi can read and process. Now here's where the science gets interesting. We're tuning this setup to a frequency of 1420.405 MHz, known as the hydrogen line or the 21 centimeter line. This frequency is emitted by neutral hydrogen in the universe and is key for mapping the Milky Way's structure. To tune the telescope, we'll install software on the Raspberry Pi that scans for this exact frequency. The software we'll use, like GQRX or RTLSDR, is easy to download and will let you adjust your setup to hone in on the hydrogen signal. Once you've got the software installed, it's time to test your setup. Point your dish toward an open part of the sky, away from buildings, and start scanning for signals. Hydrogen signals will appear as sharp, distinct lines on the frequency display. This is what you're looking for. When you detect that 21 centimeter line, you're actually seeing hydrogen clouds in the Milky Way. Neutral hydrogen is the most common element in our galaxy. The shifts you see in the line's position reflect the movement of these clouds, which can even reveal the Milky Way's rotation. If you're ready to take it a step further, you can also tune into other radio sources like the Sun or even Jupiter. Each has a unique signature in the radio spectrum that you can observe. And that's it! With just a few pieces of equipment, you now have a working radio telescope that connects you to the universe. It's an exciting way to explore space and join the world of amateur radio astronomy. If you're excited to keep exploring, hit that like button, subscribe, and share your results in the comments. We'd love to know what you discover with your own home radio telescope.